Hi there, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Coach G Show on location here in Towson. The Knights going to take on the Tigers of Towson University. I'm here with the head coach of the Knights, Greg Horenda. Coach, how are you? Merry Christmas. I'm great. Merry Christmas, and hopefully we have a good new year ahead. Now, let's look back quickly at the St. Peter's game. Tough loss on the road. After looking at that film, what did you see from your team in that game, especially some struggles in the second half? Well, it was just two halves. You know, we played exactly the first half. Not exactly. We didn't play great at the end of the first half, but that's the way we needed to take our team and our game on the road. And, and in the second half, I think St. Peter's just used their experience and their toughness to just go beat us on their home floor. They've got three very experienced seniors that hurt us late in that game, but that game was ours. It was a difficult uh, pill to swallow, but that being said, it just showed how we can play. We turned them over, we scored, we guarded, we rebounded. Uh, but we got to do it for 40 minutes, not 20. And that's a, that's a very, you know, that's a good MAC team. And today we're playing a, you know, a good CAA team. And we already beat a CAA team. So uh, this is our last game before uh, conference play. And right now we're tied for fourth place. So we were treating the whole preseason or the whole pre-conference as a tournament. And we need to be in the top four uh, in March. And right now we're in the top four, but it's, still December and how important is it for you for the team to get a win going into conference play I think it's it's important but it's not imperative it's not life or death but we need to play well and I think we play well we show that we can win on anyone's court uh, we did it at St. Joe's we should have done it at St. Peter's we played well in, in long stretches at Notre Dame at St. John's you know we had a very arduous schedule and right now uh, you know we should be five and five and we're not, but, but we're just preparing for our conference play. But tonight's game is it's monumental for our guys. We know we want to finish in the top four in pre-conference play, and that's our goal. And that was our goal when we started the season. We're right there. We need to finish the job tonight. Just the second game, uh, second season in this arena, Towson 17-2 and two here. Not a great shooting team, but very good on the boards. What's the biggest key to being the Tigers? Well, they, they have some incredible stats. They really they go to the foul line all, close to 100 more times than their opponents and they rebound the basketball really really well so it's just surprising that they have five losses but they again played very good teams they played Temple and Georgetown and high level basketball teams so they're going to be a really tough opponent tonight uh, they're strong and they're physical we have to match their intensity but uh, you know the, uh, right now I think everyone's finding out who they are and you kind of are who you say or you are what your record says you are and right now we're fourth in the Northeast Conference. We were picked next to last. So, again, John, we were picked there last year. We were picked dead last. So we're creeping up. and uh, But we're not going to be happy until we get above 500 and get above 500 in our league. And that just starts one possession at a time. And this is our last game of, the, uh, of 2014. And we're looking forward to tonight. But we're really looking forward to 2015. And obviously not looking too far ahead, but your next two games, of course, on the road in conference January 3rd and 5th after the new year. How excited do you think the team's going to be to be able to get into that conference slate after how difficult uh, non-conference play has been? I'm just waiting for a break. I, I took the job, and our next, you know, like after we beat Delaware at home, our next, I think, four out of five or six out of eight are on the road. But no, no yeah, we just, we're looking forward to it because, you know, it's, it's not a comfort zone, but that's... Those are our competitors. That's who we recruit against. That's who, you know, we're trying to get to the NCAA tournament. We're trying to win a championship, and you have to do it against your peers. And I think we stack up well against our peers, but they're good. You know, St. Francis has had a tremendous start. Sacred Heart was picked last uh, and has six wins. So I, I think it's, it's a matter of just who comes with their lunch pail and finishes the job on any given night, any team in our league can win. And you say that all the time, but in 2000, and you know, you look at the Carolina Panthers now, you know what I mean? They have now everyone doesn't want to play Carolina. And three weeks ago, uh, people were laughing at Carolina. So it's what you did for me today and tomorrow, not yesterday and uh, tonight. 
I'm looking forward to a really hard-fought game and love to get a, a win and, and close out 2014 on a great note. Coach, thank you so much. Happy New Year, and uh, good luck against Towson. John, thank you so much. Happy New Year to everybody out there. So this game starts at 7, pregame at 6.50 on FGUnites.com, the audio broadcast. And then after the New Year, the 3rd and the 5th, on the road for NEC games. Those will be on NECfrontroad.com and FGUnites.com. You know that's the place to be for all the news and notes you need on FDU men's basketball.